afternoon on the 16th of April um, and it's actually stopped raining outside but it's still very um, grey and horrible. Um, it's really cold it is so cold out there um, it's about 10 degrees now I know for some of you that's you're most probably thinking that's quite warm and and fabulous but considering as um, the other day we had 18 degrees this is a huge drop in temperature um, the winds coming around from the north and it's very very cold but it's actually slightly warmer in the greenhouse so that's quite nice so it's it's nice to be in here now what I'm going to sow this afternoon are some cauliflowers now I sowed these last year and they were absolutely brilliant they're called Romanesco uh, and they're green and um, as you can see they're not your normal white ones uh, I grew purple ones purple ones last year and they were absolutely fabulous um, and these green ones um, are, are just gorgeous so they're, the heads on them aren't huge they're sort of averagey size um, but they just look so pretty um, and they all taste like normal cauliflower does but with a slightly stronger flavour because obviously you've grown them yourselves. So now is just about the right time to start sowing them. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Now here I've got a little seed tray um, which actually has two sections. I'm only going to put um, cauliflower in um, one section of these uh, and later on I'll put something else in the other one. But just put some uh, multi-purpose compost in your tray and give it a gentle pat down just to level it off and when you've done that just give it a quick water. Now let that water soak straight down. You can see it's blubbing because there's uh, there's some air in there and the water's just trying to get its way through. And once the water has soaked all the way through, then you can start sowing your seeds. Now, there are absolutely loads in this packet. Um, this is the packet that I had left over from last year. And... Um, uh, the seeds have kept absolutely beautifully. In fact, the seeds will keep for quite a while. Now, these are the seeds. They're little, uh, because they're brassicas, they look the same as the purple sprouting and the calabrese and all that lot. So they're little round, um, sort of dark browny blacky balls. So what you need to do is you need to sprinkle these across the top of the compost. If any of them do get a little bit too close to each other, don't worry. And once you've uh, sprinkled those on, then you just need to put a little bit more compost on the top, just like that. Now I won't need to water these for a couple of days because the compost um, underneath is nice and damp, so uh, that'll sort of start to soak up um, and some of the the compost on the top will will get a little bit wet as well but make sure that you label these and then hopefully in a couple of weeks then they'll start to come up Right, well, I'll keep you updated with how the Romanesco cauliflowers are getting on. Um, as I say, hopefully in a couple of weeks they should start to come through the soil. Um, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to give you a little update um, on all the bits and pieces that I've got in the greenhouse. Because since I gave you the last update, quite a lot has happened. Now here we've got lots and lots of brassicas growing. We've got kale, uh, we've got broccoli here. Uh, these cabbages haven't quite come through yet. These are the January King, um, but the uh, the sprouting red arrow, um, the primo cabbages, the uh, cabbage advantage, and also the cabis cabbage are all coming through beautifully. So I'm going to give those maybe another 10 days possibly, uh, and then I can start potting those on. Now these are the tomatoes, a nice selection of tomatoes there and as you can see they need to be potted on especially the ones at the back here. These are the money maker and I've got the Shirley's so um, I will be doing those in the next couple of days. I might even get a chance to do some of those tomorrow but when I do uh, then I will show you. And here you can see there's one, 
there's two, there's three there and there's a tiny little one just starting to come up there. Uh, these are the mixture of squashes. Um, they've just started to um, to bump the soil um, so that they're becoming through very very soon so hopefully in another few weeks most of those will be up and just a little update on how some of the flowers are getting on the delphiniums are finally starting to come through the armeria are, are doing quite well as well and also the two at the back as well now a load of the brassicas i've actually moved down to the greenhouse um, on the allotment because I was running out of space here and that's their little next step that once they've left the um, the safety of this greenhouse they then get moved down to the the greenhouse on the allotment before they will then go out um, sort of the middle to the end of May um, so it's a bit of a reshuffle in here at the moment um, but it seems to be working at the moment which is really really good um, so um, those things the things that I've moved down to to the greenhouse and the allotment you won't see until I put them out but they're doing very very well indeed um, well that's a little update on how everything's getting on uh, next time there's something exciting to show you on an update then I will I will let you know um, but as I say I will keep you updated on how the little cauliflowers are getting on uh, and everything else uh, there are so many beautiful cauliflowers out there cauliflower is a very underrated vegetable it's beautiful um, most people usually just boil it but I would suggest that you cut it into florets and then you put some um, olive oil salt and pepper and roast it in an oven and that really brings out such a wonderful sweet flavor to it um, and sometimes you get the little charred bits on the outside which just make it absolutely wonderful but as I say you can get the the green the Romanesco you can get the graffiti which is bright bright purple if you remember I grew that last year and then you can get the white okay well um, I hope you found that interesting and I look forward to seeing you soon bye bye